the problem began at the very beginning. There wasn't a time when I was perfectly pleased with what went on with Clayton Holmes, with the purchase, with the setting up the house, with the repairs being made, which were never made. Uh, also, also the air conditioner never worked correctly. Um, that was another thing I forgot to say. Um, I I just think that that shows a pattern of just disregard completely for the individual. And that's the bottom line of my story. I, I really think they really do not care about your problem. When I started telling them that we were still building a house and living in a camp trailer since the 1st of April, they didn't really care. What, how I started with Clayton Holmes is uh, back in 2002, I had moved to um, Arkansas and was looking for a home and uh, decided to go with a mobile home. Um, the area where I live is mostly mobile homes uh, in this uh, section. So um, I found a mobile home at Clayton homes in Hot Springs, Arkansas, that was, um, had been the model on the property there. They said for only a year. Um, I, I don't know that I should have believed that, but, um, anyway, it had log siding and I liked it and, uh, it would fit in the country setting. So I got a log home, a 70 by 22 river chase manufactured home um and um you know did the regular routine of paying down and um having payments and so on and um i needed something big enough for um a small family anyway so um when the mobile home movers came and brought it to this site we had marked the property of where we wanted the mobile home to be. And um, they got here a few minutes before we did and put the half of the mobile home in the wrong place. Uh, it was about 30 feet away from the uh, water and the uh, sewer line where we had marked. And um, so that was our first encounter. And when the other person, when the other piece of our mobile home of double white got here, they wouldn't move the first piece. So we ended up having to basically dig uh, a new line, uh, dig a place for the new water line and the sewer line. And they wouldn't give us any compensation for all that work. Um, and uh, many things uh, weren't right with the house. Once they put it together on our property, um, there was glue that had dripped from the ceiling or from the where the seam is at the ceiling onto the wall, many places in three different rooms. Um, and we had ended up having to clean that up ourselves. There were pieces missing on the outside of the home, trim pieces, um, there was um, something wrong with the kitchen floor and we never could quite figure out what was wrong with it. It just didn't feel right or seem right. When we walked across it, it seemed like it kind of would give. Um, and this was supposed to be a mobile home only, uh, only one year old. But it said, uh, we eventually found out that it was um, a 2000 model and I bought it in 2002. And they said, oh, those, those in the manufacture in 1999. So it was actually uh, older than they had told us. And the wiring was substandard. There were all kinds of problems with um, the um, uh, circuit breakers, uh, go, you know, closing and um, lots of problems with the electrical. Fortunately, my husband was a retired electrician. And so he could work on that and fix those things. The things that the mobile home, um, Clayton Homes, was responsible to do, 
they only did one of those items and there was about six or seven items on our list that needed to be repaired. So that was our more or less second uh, uh, problem with them. Um, and um, then um, we um, moved away for a while and had renters in the house and they did some damage. That wasn't the, that wasn't uh, Clayton Holmes problem. We know that, but of course it was our problem. And so we were trying to repair the um, damage done. So in uh, 2019, we had a house fire and um, it burned the interior of the house and left just the structure. So we have it on our property still. Um, the insurance estimator said the, the repairs would cost uh, 120000 about to repair it back to the living uh, uh, again in it. Uh, that made it impossible for us to fix it. Um, and we tried calling about uh, getting a new mobile home and uh, people wouldn't talk to us about that because they couldn't take this mobile home as, um, you know, part of the agreement, part of the, uh, and they couldn't move it for us. So, um, we were really dismayed. Um, it would have cost us $8,000 just to move the mobile home to someplace that was a repo lot. <laughs> so uh, we couldn't do that. Um, and um, we even tried to call the mortgage company. And um, we had 21st Mortgage. And um, I'll tell you some more about 21st Mortgage in a minute. But um, we tried to uh, bargain with them to give them um, a payoff amount, but they wanted the entire mortgage paid off, um, which uh, wasn't possible for us because that left us homeless, basically. We would have a house we couldn't live in that was paid for and um, nothing else. Um, so we decided to build a cabin on our property, 36 by 24. So we were really downsizing from a big three bedroom, two bath, double wide um, mobile home. But um, that the contract for that was with a contractor, but the contractor left after we paid them two payments and they had messed the house up. The contractor would not take the responsibility. I know it's a long story, but um, to make it a little short, um, we found out that um, Clayton Homes and 21st Mortgage Company and Vanderbilt Mortgage Company and um, somebody called Community Affordable Spec Homes um and Hathaway Company are all owned by Warren Beatty. And that um the Clayton Homes pushes people into uh, financing through their own the mortgage company that's owned by the same company they are. And uh, so um that that makes it hard to deal with them. Um and um, still, we, we're being threatened all the time by 21st Mortgage, uh, which is a part of the company from Clayton Homes. So we feel like that um, they should um, really drop this whole issue because um, we don't have anything to give them. And we don't have the house that they, uh, they sold to us anymore. Um, so the issue with Clayton Homes kind of goes on and on forever. I could talk uh, about how 21st Mortgage has treated us in the last few months. Um, but um, what I want to say is 
uh, company that is worth um, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, and still comes after someone like us whose house burned um, is not really a reputable company in my book. Uh, they own 180,000 mortgages that are worth $900 mil billion. Dollars. So um, we feel uh, like they need to give us some space and to just take the mobile home off of our property and uh, use it as a repo. So that's basically what we want and what has happened to us. Well, I, I truly believe that the company should take this mobile home off our property and um, and just redo it and they can sell it again. You know, if they have the money to redo the interior of it, um, the exterior is uh, still sitting over here. And, um, you know, they just really need to stop harassing us about the money. It, it really turns out that the insur my insurance company also made a huge mistake by not naming the mortgage company on their uh, insurance forms. And so because it wasn't named, they couldn't pay them. They gave us the replacement money to get another house, but wanted us to pay the mortgage for it the, out of the money that they gave us, which would have been impossible. So um, that's, that's basically what we want. We want them to just get this off of our property and so what that they tell us we're you know been repoed we <laughs> we really don't care we have a house here that we're trying to build that we can't build because they're holding all this over our heads and uh, we can't get financing for the rest of the house so that's what we'd like them to do um, and kind of write it off because we have no way of doing what they want us to do. And um, uh, we even tried to make payments to 21st Mortgage, which didn't work because we just don't have that kind of money. My husband and I are retired and trying to build a little house <laughs> for ourselves. And uh, so we, we just would like to get it done and calm down and get uh, out of this situation. So thank you very much for your uh, videotaping me and sending it out. Appreciate it.